So I'm a game designer. So I make um, big games. And so as a game designer, I think uh, rather than try to talk something, I think we should just play. So if we can get some light on, a, on the floor, I think that will help. So, <clears throat> so we're going to play a game called Please Hold My Hand and Let Go of My Hand. You know. uh, does everyone got this stick? Right? Everyone has that, right? OK, so um, let's hope we will all have fun, OK? So if you please all stand up to play. OK, so this game is very simple. And we're going to have as much fun as you will try to have. So OK, hold a, hold a stick on one hand, OK? Left or right, whatever hands you prefer. So one hand is to reach out, and the other open hand is to sort of grab, OK? So it's this very simple game. So I think you might remember this mechanic from your childhood. So I'm going to give you multiple challenges, and then you will sort of try to form a group, OK? So if you form a group of certain number or certain condition, hold your hand, and then sort of sit down if you form it. But just keep holding hand, OK? And then the next challenge will come up, and then you will sort of uh, try to do the next one. So everyone sort of following so far? Yeah. yeah. If it doesn't make sense, it's fine. Not, I think most people just didn't get it yet. So, <laughs> so, so I, I, think, I think for some weird reason, the more people gather, the harder it gets to communicate. Or I'm not saying like people are getting dumber, but I think, I think there's something about that. So. Um, I guess sound is not playing, so we'll just do it. So we'll start with something simple. So group of three. So any, you know, so start holding a hand. Just form a group of three. If you can, form a group of three and sit down. If you fail, then you just stand it. It's very simple. Just keep holding your hand. OK? So three, yeah. If you count one, two, three, you will need three people to form. OK, I think the seat in the front is sort of doing well. At the back, it's a little confused, but I think we're sort of doing OK. All right. OK, now. Yes, unfortunately, there is no music, but uh, OK, now, group of seven. Now we stand up again and group of seven. Group of seven. All right, if you form a group, then you try to sit down as you hold your hand. So we can sort of get a sense if you get moving. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's see what's going to happen next. So, all right, now the next one will be group of three, one of each color. OK, so I need a blue, blue, blue. So you need a red, blue, green, red, blue, green. Oh, well. All right, I, I guess I didn't make it. I didn't make it. All right, so group of three, each different color. I guess it's confusing a little bit, OK? So we'll move on to the next challenge. OK, now group of 10. Yeah, I think we need to show some respect to the speaker here. All right. Now, group of eight in single color. Group of eight, single color, one color. The blue or green or red. If you form a group, then please sit so we can see how far we are going. I see some people just gave up and then sitting like at the back, you know. So I guess you could enjoy the spectacle. All right, so one more. Seven in two color. 
Okay, now you're in 10, seven in two color. Group of seven in two color. In the stick. All right, so we will move into final challenge. All right, group of 541. What would that be? What would that be? <laughs> everyone. All right, so I think everyone please hold their hand and then please sit, you know. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> that was a little uh, childish ending. So oh, I'm running out of time. So all right, so, so we just had a simple game. You know, I think you're familiar with the activity. So I designed such a game that, you know, many people can sort of participate. And it was quite loudy. Um, so, I mean, this simple game, I think things that I want you to sort of experience was how socially bonded we are. It was childish action. And there's no punishment, there's no reward. But you all sort of got excited. And then it was sort of nervous and then dissatisfying when you're not part of the group. But also, I think it was also a little uh, uncomfortable when you're a group of 10 and you have to let go of someone to actually be in a group. It's also uncomfortable. So this, this sort of like a social bonding sort of stays with you, you know, no matter how simple activity sort of you do. So I'm a game designer, and I design experience. And I think this game, I hope you guys sort of experience that. I think there is something that we have That's my son. So uh, when you're a child, I think we know how to feel. And then we know how to express ourselves based on the feeling. And I think that's sort of, that's what I think drove us when, when we were a child. And I don't think we lose that as we grow up. I think we just sort of like shield it. So I hope like this little game sort of showed you that that, that emotion that you had when you were a child, that energy you had when you were a child, I think it's still in there. I think it will actually drive you to wherever you want it to go. So I'm hoping you guys experience and you guys really feel and have some fun in life. Thank you. <laughs>